Peripheral neuropathy exercises for feet. Relieve pain and improve mobility. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, your go-to source for health and wellness tips. Today, we have an important topic to discuss peripheral neuropathy exercises for feet. If you or someone you know is struggling with the discomfort and pain associated with peripheral neuropathy, you're in the right place. Stick around, as we'll be sharing a comprehensive guide to exercises that can help alleviate symptoms and improve mobility. Before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update from us. Chapter 1. Understanding Peripheral Neuropathy Before we delve into the exercises, let's briefly understand what peripheral neuropathy is. Peripheral neuropathy is a condition that affects the peripheral nerves, causing pain, numbness, tingling, and weakness, often in the feet and hands. It can be caused by various factors, such as diabetes, chemotherapy, and more. Chapter 2. Importance of Exercise Exercise plays a crucial role in managing peripheral neuropathy. It can help improve blood circulation, strengthen muscles, and reduce pain. Plus, it's an essential component of an overall healthy lifestyle. But remember, always consult your healthcare provider before starting any new exercise routine, especially if you have underlying medical conditions. Chapter 3. Warm-up Exercises Let's start with some gentle warm-up exercises to prepare your feet for more intense activities. These exercises can help increase circulation and reduce the risk of injury. Ankle Circles Begin by sitting in a comfortable chair or on the floor with your legs extended. Lift one foot off the ground and gently rotate your ankle in a circular motion, clockwise and then counterclockwise. Repeat this for 15-20 seconds on each foot. Toe taps. While sitting, raise one leg slightly off the ground and tap your toes on the floor, alternating between lifting your big toe and then your smaller toes. This exercise helps improve blood flow to your feet. Perform 15-20 taps on each foot. Calf stretches. Sit on the floor with your legs extended. Loop a towel around the ball of one foot and gently pull it towards you, keeping your knee straight. Hold the stretch for 15-20 seconds, then switch to the other foot. Chapter 4. Balance and Coordination Exercises Now, let's focus on balance and coordination exercises. These will help improve your stability and prevent falls. One leg stand. Stand near a sturdy support, like a countertop or chair, for balance. Lift one foot slightly off the ground and try to balance on the other foot for 10-15 seconds. Switch to the other foot. This exercise enhances balance. Heel-to-toe walk. Take slow, deliberate steps by placing the heel of one foot directly in front of the toes of the other foot, creating a straight line. Walk this way for about 10-15 steps, turning around if necessary. It helps with coordination. Chapter 5. Strengthening Exercises Now, let's move on to strengthening exercises. These exercises will help build the muscles in your feet and legs, providing better support and reducing pain. Toe flexes. Sit comfortably and place your feet flat on the floor. Lift your toes off the ground while keeping your heels on the floor. Hold this position for a few seconds, then lower your toes back down. Repeat this 10-15 times for each foot. Ankle flexes. Similar to toe flexes, sit with your feet flat on the floor. Lift your heels while keeping your toes on the floor. Hold for a few seconds, then lower your heels. Resistance band exercises. Sit down with your legs extended and wrap a resistance band around your forefoot. Pull the band towards you, flexing your foot at the ankle. Perform 10-15 repetitions for each foot. Chapter 6. Range of Motion Exercises Maintaining flexibility in your feet is essential to prevent stiffness. Here are some range of motion exercises to keep your feet agile. Toe extensions. Sit with your feet flat on the floor. Lift your toes toward the ceiling, then curl them down toward the floor. Repeat this motion 10-15 times for each foot. Ankle circles. While sitting, lift one foot off the ground and gently rotate your ankle in a circular motion, clockwise and then counterclockwise. Repeat this for 15-20 seconds on each foot. Chapter 7. Relaxation Techniques Lastly, let's talk about relaxation techniques. 
Stress can exacerbate neuropathy symptoms, so it's crucial to manage it effectively. Try these relaxation exercises. Deep breathing. Find a quiet, comfortable space. Inhale deeply through your nose for a count of four, hold for four, and then exhale through your mouth for a count of four. Repeat this breathing exercise for two three minutes to help relax your mind and body. Foot massage. Sit down and gently massage your feet with your hands, using circular motions. Focus on the arches and heels to alleviate tension. Meditation. Find a peaceful spot, close your eyes, and focus on your breath. Let go of any thoughts and worries. Meditation can help reduce stress and improve overall well-being. Chapter 8. Lifestyle Tips and Precautions Alongside exercises, making some lifestyle changes can significantly impact your peripheral neuropathy management. Here are some tips. Consume a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Limit sugar and processed foods, especially if you have diabetes. Drink plenty of water to keep your body and nerves well hydrated. Invest in comfortable shoes that provide proper support and cushioning for your feet. If you have diabetes, diligently monitor your blood sugar levels and follow your healthcare provider's recommendations. Chapter 9. Safety Measures Here are some precautions to take while doing these exercises. Ensure you have the right equipment, such as resistance bands, and use them correctly. Choose a clutter-free area with good lighting and a sturdy chair or support nearby. Begin with low-intensity exercises and increase intensity over time to avoid overexertion. If you experience pain or discomfort during any exercise, stop immediately and consult your healthcare provider. That's a wrap on our guide to peripheral neuropathy exercises for feet. Remember that consistency is key, and results may take time. Always consult your healthcare provider and seek their guidance throughout your journey. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with someone who might benefit, and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Thank you for watching, and take care of your feet.